everyone, and welcome back to Jesse Heck Creatives. Today we're going over every single Sonic the Hedgehog figure that I own in 2.5 inch scale from Jack Specific, all ranked from worst to best. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. Now let's get to it. In last place is Mighty standing at about two and a half, two and three quarters inches tall. His character design is really nice, I just don't like the fact that he doesn't really want to stand that well. He is somehow, but that's only because I have him positioned in a really good place with his legs spread really far out. If you put him even in a little bit, he falls, which is a shame. He isn't really that poseable. He does have a head that doesn't really go all the way around. His arms don't really go all the way around, at least on this one over here. It just crashes into that little shell in the back. He does have a little tail over here, by the way. You do get swivel for each arm and some nice pit action, I would guess, going up and down and back and forward nicely with this leg. You do get a swivel for each leg. They are different. They go back and forth and work out nice if you have it in the exact position, but anything else will just make him fall backwards. It's a shame because I really like how much he looks. He looks cool. Next up is Ray, standing at about two and a quarter inches tall, maybe two and a half or so. He is good, but has some structural issues with the figure. His head is a little bit top heavy, but he's balanced out by this tail that can swivel all the way around. His head can go left and right all the way around if you'd like. His wings are weird. You see these little wings right over here that don't really have much purpose, you know? His arms could be out more and be way better. But instead they did this, he does have the pit action. He has the going around all the way with both arms. It works out fine. And the legs go out and forward and swivel for both of them and work out really well. I just don't have much of a connection to this character, but my big issue with this guy is this weird gap right here. That's kind of a shame. It doesn't really work out as well as it could, and that's a bummer. If they fix that, he'd be much better and higher on this list. Next up is Supersonic, standing about three inches tall, maybe two and three quarters or so. He's a nice looking figure, but there are a couple issues with him for me. He is top heavy, any like little movement or anything does actually get him falling. So yeah, it's kind of frustrating for me to stand him sometimes. If you want to put him in a certain pose, you can't because of the weight of his head, which is a big shame for me. He does swivel his head all the way around. You can go up this far, down this far, all the way around with that hand. It is a holding hand for some reason, in which it was a fist. That's a real weird bummer for me too. You can swivel all the way around and then up and down over here. I really like the look of his face. It's a nice, mean look down to the eyebrows. It's wonderful. I also really like how this looks over here. It's really unique and cool and super duper. It's super awesome to see this. It's nice. I like the sort of down and then up for the tail. It's a nice little contrast, which is really wonderful. We also get up and down and then swivel and then down and up and then swivel. Two pegs on the bottom of the feet. There is a blemish also on his stomach. That's kind of a bummer. It's hard to see on camera, but it's there. Supersonic is nice looking, but has a couple issues here and there. Classic Eggman stands at about two and three quarters inches tall. Really nice looking figure, and I like him a lot. So going over the single pack, his head can swivel all the way around very nicely. You also get an up this far down, all the way around. Nothing for the hand, I'm afraid. You get back and forward with a swivel on both legs. You can get him into a running stance, running away from Sonic, which is pretty funny to see. I've always liked him when he does that. But he's a good figure, has a couple blemishes in the back, which is a shame. And I think he has a little like nick on his head and some issues with his glasses. And that's a bummer. Also a little nick over here that I didn't really notice. His buttons are painted pretty well, and these are painted very nicely. I like it a lot, that little cape. But moving on to the one from the two pack, or at least the Eggmobile pack, very nicely done on this, really great paint all the way around. There's a little nick on the head though, but that's because of using the ejector function for him. The paint's really good over here too. We do get some swivel over here as well, the same with the other one, up and down. And very far down compared to this one, there is a little divot on the side so he can fit in. That's really great. Swivel all the way around, goes up, down, so we can fit in the Eggmobile very nicely. You do get a swivel down here on both legs with up this far to sit in the Eggmobile. Two pick holes on the feet for both, by the way, and back this far to get thrown off, I would guess, 
But that doesn't affect anything with the Eggmobile. It just sits like this, and he just pops out like that and hits his head. That's where I got the little chunk out. So, yeah, if I were to pick one, I would pick the Eggmobile one. You get a lot more bang for your buck as opposed to this one. This We'll call this one a nice prototype and one if you don't want to get the Eggmobile. But really, the Eggmobile is really great. You should grab it. Next up is the Pose Sonic, standing at about two and a half inches tall or so. They're nice looking figures, but this one is my least favorite right over here. It's just clogging the shelves and annoying the heck out of me. It's the Tada Sonic. Yeah, he has a swivel. He has a swivel over here going down and up this far. But out, you can do it, you know, for like a handshake or something. You do get this sort of like, you know, hip action arm at least. I don't know. He can look at the time if you want him to. You do get a swivel that kind of works pretty well, and you get a down and up and then swivel on both legs. They're kind of pre-posed, and you have to kind of really get him in a certain position for him to stand. Otherwise, he would, you know, fall, which kind of sucks. And two pegos on the feet. He's an all right figure, but not really my cup of tea as far as Sonics go. And getting this Sonic out here, this Sonic is pretty okay. He has a chili dog, but not much else better. The face kind of creeps me out also. You can have him eating the chili dog, which is nice. You do get a swivel over here, which is an inverse of the other arm. You can have him looking at the time, too. You can have him eating the chili dog or attempting to swivel all the way around, but failing and going up this far and down this far. You do get up the leg, down with the leg, a swivel, and then up the leg, down with the leg, and a swivel. Yeah, these pre-posed Sonics aren't really that great as far as I'm concerned. The one with the chili dog wins out a little bit more just because he has a chili dog. Hello everyone, and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also click the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. Tail stands at about two and a quarter inches tall. Really nice figure. He's really cool though when I kit bashed him with the Modern Tails tails so he could spin around and stuff like that. It works out really well and isn't really all that wobbly. It's a nice thing to have for this figure. But this is the actual tails that comes with the actual sets and stuff like that. Really nicely done. We get a swivel at the top. The eyes are adorable. He's just really cute and I love him. We also get up this far down all the way around with that. And you get a swivel down here and an up and down and then a swivel down here with up and down. And now for his tails. They're really cool and nicely done. These are really some good tails here. You can take them out pretty easily and put them back in. That's really cool. They do swivel all the way around a lot and act as a nice little stand for him. You sort of just stand there. There is a little extra space taken up, but that's fine by me. I notice he also has these two little white markings here that I don't think they're intentional. And they're not on this one, but they're kind of cool and I don't want to, you know, lose them. They're not like highlights from my lights or anything. That's really nice. It's pretty cool. He has some good paint all around. He's a great sculpt. I like Tails a lot. Even this one. It's a good kit bash. And Tails is just adorable, guys. Static Sonic stands at about two and a half, two and a quarter inches tall. They're both really great and exactly what I'm looking for as far as Sonic goes. This one has a little smile on him. It's really cute, very nice. The head sculpt is really cool as well. I like that. The body sculpt we've seen from Supersonic. It's pretty awesome. Swivel all the way around and up and down. And the swivel all the way around and up and down. Very nice articulation there with an up and down. And then a swivel over here. And then a backward forward. Swivel over here. Swivel at the head. Really nicely done for this guy and I like it a lot. Super cool. He has a really cute little smile. It's adorable. And the head sculpt is really nice. Moving on to this Sonic over here. The same articulation for everything, you know, below the neck, but different head. Really awesome head. I love the look. The scowl is great. The eyes are positioned really well. It's not even the same sculpt, I don't think. It's different sculpt for the head entirely, which is really nice. We do get those holding hands. We get the same everything from down below. Just the expression on the face is wonderful and probably my favorite expression for any Sonic. It reminds me a lot of Sonic 3, Sonic, and Sonic and Knuckles Sonic. And he has a little bit more attitude, a little bit more anger towards Robotnik, and that's pretty cool. Reminds me a little bit of Super Sonic's expression too. Taking a look at them both, yeah, you get that same kind of scowl, and it fits. Let's get Sonic going. He's really awesome, and this one's great. 
definitely pick up that eggmobile. In the top three is Knuckles, standing at about two and a half inches tall or so. He's a very nice figure here. We finally have two fists for him to punch everything. However, the head articulation is still a little bit limited. You can't really make him go all the way around. His arms don't really move all that well around the sort of dreads over here. And the same with this one, and it's kind of a shame. Although I do love the character and I do love the figure, I'm just happy to have Knuckles a lot. We do have a swivel here, and up and down, and back, and then back and forth, and then swivel. The two pegos upon the feet. Really nicely done. I like how this little crescent is done too. He has a little wonky tail. That's great. And the dreads look awesome on him. I love this guy a lot. I'm glad that he's here. He even has some pretty good stance. He doesn't really fall too often when moving him to anything. So pose him as you like. He is wonderful and great. In the number two spot is Classic Metal Sonic, standing at about two and a half, two and three quarters inches tall. Incredibly nice looking figure, very faithful to the game, and really awesome. I do have a nitpick with him though, that his eyes are not consistent between figure to figure. This one over here is much more red, but this one does have this smudging over here, and that kind of sucks. There also is a little barcode on the back, indicating he is a single release figure, whereas this one came with the advent calendar, but has lesser off eyes, and that kind of is a shame to me. I do love them both dearly, and they're really cool. So let's check out this one, I would guess. He looks great and awesome straight from the games. The little spikes in the back of his head are really awesome and cool. This ball is really round and very smooth. Wonderful design for that. His head is great. You get a little nose. It's awesome. The little black where his eyes would be are really nicely done. I'm kind of warming up to the fact the eyes aren't really that red, and that's kind of fine. I do wish they were a little more glowy, but whatever. Swivel all the way around. We do get up this far a little bit down. Not really that great with articulation. I think it's just this, you know, body mold, I would guess. It does move better on this one. And then back and forward and swivel a little bit. And then same with this side over here. Two pegos on the bottom of the feet. Checking this one over here, I think this one has a little bit better movement. Not that much, though. It's kind of the curse of the Metal Sonic where one arm moves worse than the other. But they both look really cool. There is a jet on the back. Looks great. The paint is done really well on him, and I'm very happy about that. Metal Sonic's one of my favorite characters in the series. No surprise he'd be near the top, but I didn't think he'd be this good. In the number one spot is Amy Rose, standing at about two and a half, two and three quarters inches tall. Super nice looking figure and brand new sculpt and mold for this character. Really, really wonderful. We have this nice little tuft of hair that's really awesome, really cute. Her eyes are really big. She has those huge eyes with the little eyelashes on the side. It's a nice little touch. A little smile up there is really cute. The nose is adorable, by the way. The noses don't really break too often on these figures, which I'm really glad they cleared that up. We have this really great headband ending in a tie on the back. That's wonderful. It's, it's a little bit hard to see, but yeah, there's a little tie right here. That It's just super nice attention to detail. A little spike coming out, too, is really cute. We also have this great green shirt that's really awesome with a little little collar over here. We do get a swivel over here and an up and a down, which is nice. We do get a swivel on the head, you know, sort of all the way around as much as you can do it. That, that tie kind of gets in the way a little bit, but you can see it better from this angle, so that's pretty nice. You also can swivel all the way around over here and up and down. Swivel here, up and down, swivel here, up and down. The shoes look really great. I love the little sort of lavender detail they put in over there. It's really nicely done. Her orange skirt matches her orange shoelaces too. Great bonus detail there as well. She has a little tiny tail underneath, which is really cute. And two pickles at the bottom of the feet. Very nicely done figure and one of the best as far as classic Sonic 2.5 goes. I can't wait to see her in 4 inch. Really great figure and just awesome. Overall, I find these figures to be excellent. I really love the Jack Specific line, as well as the 2.5 inch figures. I never thought he'd really get into them, but seeing as how many characters came out for the Classic line that I really love and adore, the Classic Genesis games being some of my favorites in the Sonic series as a whole, I thought I'd get a few and it ballooned into this. These are really high quality figures for the line, and especially this time, and I just love them all. They're really great and super awesome. I highly recommend picking up the Sonic 5-pack with Sonic, Amy, Tails, Knuckles, and Eggman, as well as the Eggmobile to get you started on a lot of top figures that I would put in this line. Mecha Sonic is also a must. I really love him. The rest you can cherry pick, but make no mistake that these are some really awesome figures 
And if you're a Sonic fan, you should definitely speed towards. Thank you so much for watching Jesse Heck Creative. Feel free to click like, subscribe, share, or leave a comment. You can also visit us at jesseheckcreative.com where you'll find more reviews like this one. Thanks again for watching and keep being creative. Stay tuned.